recap. So all the high priests are there. Everybody's ready. Peter and John are arrested. Let's see what happens next. Acts chapter 4 verse 7. And when, they, and when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? 8. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost. That's super important. When you want to defend the faith, when you want to talk to people, non-believers or believers, always pray that the Holy Ghost guide you because that's what it's saying. Like It wasn't Peter and his strength and in his mind it was the holy ghost who was going to take over the conversation let's read that again eight then peter filled with the holy ghost said unto them ye rulers of the people and elders of israel nine if we this day be examined by the good deed done to this impotent man by what means he is made whole then be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. They're still repeating in verse 10 the same story they did in Acts 1. By Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who you killed and who is raised from the dead. Devin. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. All the elders, remember the high of the highest, are there asking these questions and ready to hear under what authority they have healed this man. And Peter and John only have one answer, Jesus Christ. But not only do they answer Jesus Christ, they go further on and say, salvation is only through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who ye killed. The story doesn't change. It's all about Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit would never or will never contradict the Bible and the apostles in the book of Acts, they refer to the Old Testament a lot because they are just confirming the fact that they are led by the Holy Spirit that does not contradict the Bible. So when you have a vision, when you have a thought, when you have prophecy, before you send it out to the world to other believers or non-believers make sure it stands firm in accordance with the bible it just cannot contradict it